Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Asuka guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Asuka's Cherry Blossom and Destabilizer. So Cherry Blossom is back 1 plus 2. It's a 12 frame fold that does 40 damage. Now in the open, there's nothing special about it. At the wall though, it's a different story. If your back is up against it and they break the throw, you switch positions. So it's a nice escape route. Where it's also useful is when their backs to the wall. Here, you actually get okay. The best brain dead option is D4. This is everything unless they just stay down. To cover that, go for DF3. This hits them on the floor and it splats back rollers. The danger though is that side rollers can escape and wake up kicks will interrupt. To cover the latter, use D2. This will beat them out and hit back rollers. What that means is that standing is a weak point. So to cover that, we have two options. The first is DF4. This hits them back turned and it hits back rollers. The riskier option is DB12. Now back rollers can evade this, but standers get splatted. And from there, we can combo. A special option is F2. This will launch back rollers and wake up kicks. It also hits idlers who stay down. Where it's risky though is against standers because they can block it and we're at minus 18. To mitigate that, we have the cancel. This allows us to go into crouch and apply a mix up. One option is full crouch DF3. This is a safe mid wall bouncer and it high crushes. The other is full crouch DF2. This is minimal damage, but I count it, it gives us a combo. It also clips people on the floor, including side rollers. The last fancy option is Destabilizer. This is an 18 frame throw that does no damage. It's also high, so it can be ducked. What makes up for that though, is that it's unbreakable and it leaves you at plus 8. That means in some ways, this is more of a plus frame high than it is a throw. Now with those frames, we have some traps. The best one is probably D2. This is uninterruptible and combos uncounted. It also hits side steppers, which is good for us. Unfortunately, power crushes can beat it, but to cover that, we have back 4. This is safe, launches uncounted and hits side steppers. It's also a knee, so reverses won't work either. What all that means is that people will be inclined to block. So to discourage that, we have two options. The first is F4. This is a plus frame, homing high, and it launches. The other is another destabilizer. Despite being 18 frames, you can still catch side centers. That means you can harass them until they duck or interrupt. Now if they do duck, then back 4 and D2 do little damage, so they might just take the hit. To change that, use 1 plus 2. This is a safe launcher and it hits side steppers. The only problem is that backdashes will evade it, but destabilizer does still reach. An alternative is DB2. This is minus 11, so punishable on block. The reason you may want to use it though is that it changes the angle of the launch. That means if the wall is too close, this may be useful. Now destabilizer doesn't just need to be used with cherry blossom. You can use it whenever you have significant plus frames. Normally F4 is the better option, but this can be used to test their patience. You can do multiple destabilizers and if they choose wrong, you get that launch. Now if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. It really helps this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more Asuka guides coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.